I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise, and we'll do two iterations. The first iteration will be our plan A, and the second iteration will be our plan B. Then we'll compare results. I'm going to create a dealt hand and a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a green dragon, an east, two, five, six in bams with a pair of sixes, one, three, four, eight in dots with a pair of fours, one, two, eight in cracks, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on for plan A? And what would be your first discards? Also write your plan B and discards for plan B. If these were my tiles, I would play 2468, primarily because we have a lot of representation. There is potential for consecutive run, but only one hand, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I think Evens has much more opportunity for optimization during the Charleston. So let's do 2468 for plan A and then consecutive run for plan B. I'm gonna take a photo of these tiles so we can recreate it for the next iteration. Two, four, six, eight. There is a mixed suit two, four, six, eight hand we would have to use dots and cracks to use this. So let's keep it and see what happens. The thing is, we'd have to break that up. Let's pass those three. We'll take a photo. We got fives. That would be a multiple. Four, five. Anytime you have a multiple during the Charleston, reassess. Since we're testing evens, let's break it up and continue. Normally, I would reassess. But even still, we could do four, five, six, seven, but we have a gap, no seven bam. So I wouldn't play a gap hand this early in the Charleston. I would keep my options open. So we're going to break it up. There's an even. Two, two, eight, two, six, three. We don't need a three. Four, eight, two, eight, dragon. We do have tiles we can pass. So let's pass those three. Let's see, we need to mark what we got though. We got those, so I need to take a photo of that. I almost forgot. Take a photo along the way because we've got to recreate these passes. So let's keep the two, so that is an even tile, and we'll pass these three now. Take a photo. We did get threes. 
it just looks like this hand wants to be consecutive. We even have a multiple there now. Three, four. We have a south. Two, six, three, four, eight. Six, two, eight, eight. Let's see. Let's let that green dragon go and then this three. We finally got some evens. Sixes. All right, so let's think about this now. Two, four, six, eight. We have four, six, and a two, no four. Because there is a hand where you can do two, four, and cracks, four, six, and dots. Well, that would be an eight, bam. But we could do, let's see, four, six, two, four, eight. I think all these sixes is not going to be helpful. And you know, I would not pass that. That's very risky. I think what I would do here, I'd be tempted to go back to consecutive run to tell you the truth, because that just feels like where the hand is going. So two, nine, six, two, two, four, four, six, eight. We've got gaps, no four bam, no four crack. Four, six, eight, and a six crack. Four, six, three. All right, let's let the three go. We've got a six bam. Let's take a photo. And wins. So there's a six. Six. Two, eight, three. Three can go. So we have two, four, six, six, four, six, two, four, six, two, eight, two, eight. Let's pass these three. We got an eight. So we're playing maybe a big gap hand, two, four, crack, six, eight. Here's the four, four, two, four, dot, four, bam, six, bam, eight, crack, five, crack, east, eight, optional cross. Okay, let's pass these three. All right, so we didn't get any keepers here. So we have no hand and a lot of discards. I think we need to try the consecutive run. So I'm gonna reset with these tiles and then we'll compare results. What is going on here? Are you? This is what we started with. We're gonna play consecutive run. Three, four, five, six. I guess we could maybe do two, three, four, five, but our six is there. Typically when you're doing consecutive run, you gather four numbers in a range around the multiples. So four, five, six, seven is better than two, three, four, five because of the six. So four, five, six, seven, that's what we're gonna gather or three, four, five, six. So let's let that go. There's no mixed suit dragon hand in consecutive run. Let's pass the east, the eight and the one. Really, we should probably let a two go though. 
we don't want to be left with two twos. Let's do two crack eight dot. And this way we have another pass here, or maybe even that would be better for another pass. Sometimes it's good to think a pass ahead. So let's pass these three. And there's that pair of fives. Really, this is why you do not want to pass a pair. Two, three, four, four, five, six. We have tiles we can pass. Let's do two, nine. Well, I don't think I would do two, nine dragon. Let's see, what about that one, nine dragon? Or even, we'll do this one first. Dragons are hot commodities. We have a one, two, one through six. That's too big of a range. We can let the one go. There's a multiple though. What we could do is one, two, three, four. We'd have to let two multiples go. We really don't have to pick a hand. We can let those go. Just see what happens. Threes, three, four, five. Here's a three. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, south. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. One, two, three multiples. I think we should break these up. Three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, one suit. So let's pass these three. Six dot, three, four, five, six. There is a one suit hand with big multiples, pung, pung, kong, kong. Let's pass these three. Six bam, there's a big multiple right there. Three, four, five, six. So that's probably what I would focus on, the big multiple. Three, four, five, six. We just need help right here. So here, let's pass one wind and break up the five. Maybe we should just keep the, eh, big multiple. We're going to go with the big multiple. Otherwise, we'd have to throw away a pong if we kept three, four, five, or even three, four, five, six. I'd rather use the multiple like that. Five. Eight. I mean, this is in our range. I would not pass two wins this year, or really any year. You don't want to pass two wins if you don't have to. Let's let this five crack go. We have all the fives here. Four, five, six. I was thinking we could do four, five, six with fives in the middle. Here's four, five, six. We have three, six. Three, four, five, six, no gaps. Let's risk passing two. You really don't want to do that too much. You have to watch and see if winds are going around. Oh, no keepers, we did get a wind but we have discards. This though is a much better outcome than the even category. We have a hand with no gaps. We're really light on the five bam, but that could be a built up with jokers if need be. And we could even still do four, five, six with fives in the middle and let that go. But I think I'd rather play that. Three, four, five, six, pong, pong, kong, kong. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. On the card this year, 86% of the hands use big multiples, which would be pungs and kongs, and even quints if you happen to have jokers. So when you first get your dealt hand, look for multiples and target those tiles. Gather the rest of the tiles that support the multiple and find a category on the card that uses most of your tiles. If you don't have multiples, 
build around the predominant pattern, which will be one of the categories on the card. During the Charleston, if a multiple forms, reassess and build around the multiples. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.